Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Twisted Paper Studio, how are you? I hope you're all well, happy Merry Monday. I do just want to let you know right off the bat that um, I'm not feeling well, so I may um, pause and then restart the camera, however you won't know, but I, if I sneeze, because I've just, I think I have a head cold and I've just been sneezing and, um, you know, having to um, use my tissues often so I do apologize um, beforehand so let's get started it is Merry Monday um, I will put on my timer and first I'm going to wish beautiful blessings um, I don't have that prepared because I haven't been on YouTube so I'm just gonna go right on to my comments and start with um, beautiful blessings to Ruth Lamb Lambden 6139 and um, beautiful blessings to Junk Journal Treasures. And beautiful blessings to um, Denise S. Beautiful blessings to you ladies. Thank you so much for leaving me comments on my channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am sorry and I do apologize that I am sick today. However, I'm still going to keep going. <laughs> so we were working in this um, document style journal last Monday. And I don't, in the excitement, I rewatched the video, and in the excitement, I said, <clears throat> I'll be back and we'll do lots more things into the, into the journal. However, I'm not feeling very creative today, and we have done a lot. Um, I am going to do some more, but basically, you just want to add things to the journal. When you add things, either by stapling them, or by, um attaching them to the pages it adds to the character of a journal of the journal that's that's exactly what i would do um we can um you know do, uh, we'll do a little a little um a little booklet and we'll add some more definition there is a lot of definition in here however you know it could be more maybe for some it's not enough um and that's quite okay but we can also add more. So we just, <clears throat> we'll add like a little scrappy booklet um, to, the, to the journal. And then we'll decorate the front of it. These are Leslie, hi Leslie, over at 507 Willow House Journal. She makes these little scrappy um, booklets. Whoops. So we'll put that there and we'll add this guest check on here and maybe we'll just, where's my stapler? I don't know where my little stapler is. I've been ha I had it on my desk the, the past week working. I don't know where it went. We'll use the big one. No big deal. And we'll just do that. I hope you're all well and you had a wonderful weekend. <clears throat> um, let's see. We can even add. Hmm. That's cute. We can add that. Um, I don't know where these these um, digitals all came from. They're just a bunch of Christmas digitals. I know these are dreams, etc. I know these are Roxy Creations. I just have so many cut out, you know. I don't know where they belong to. This is a cute little child in bed. We can put that in here. And we'll staple it up up top here. <clears throat> now, we'll go there. And then we can take this and attach it. Um, we can use a brad to attach it. That would be cute. Let's do that. Oh my goodness, my head is pounding. My little my little niece was sick and I think I caught the cold from her. She's better now. She just had a little a little cold. <clears throat> and now she's better. And I got it. They call me Nani, so Nani got it. <laughs> okay. Now I did this up too high and by spreading the prongs 
separated them, it would have, I wouldn't have had room. Oh, I would have. Well, just in case, I, I, I did both prongs over to one side, which that's okay too. And then let's see, we can decorate the inside. What do we have? We have more stuff. There's this. And then this way, um, people can use these in their journal. <clears throat> Here, we'll just go ahead and put this down. We can make it like a, a um, post-it note. Where'd my little, I just had it here. Oh, there's my, here's my little steeper. I have my water, I have my tea. Okay. And I also have another little craft to do um, after this, seeing how long it will take. Oh, would you believe that? I. I went over here and gave my my blessings, and then I forgot to start my timer. Let me start it for, we've already been going a little bit, so let me just start it. I'll start it at 50 minutes. I do apologize so much for my, my congestion. Oh, look, here's a telegram. That's cute. That was something I was starting, and I didn't finish. I put that in there. And we put her in here with that. Yeah, you could just attach these in any way, like you would in an office setting. Um, however, they did in an office setting. You could use a paper clip. You can use, let's get a paper clip. You know, I have my little Leslie clips here somewhere. So I can get one out. I realized I forgot to put lotion on my hands. Oh, my head is pounding, so it's just heavy. My head feels so heavy, and I don't like it. Oh, wait. Let's, um, so, um, those little three pieces of paper I put together, um, to attach them to make them look, you know, cutely decorated. I would take a piece of paper and then just slip it over the top to attach them all like that. And then I would put my paper clip on. It's just a different way to, to attach something rather than just clip it. And then it leaves more to the eye that someone can open it up. Okay, so we have that, we have a telegram. That was a quick little scrappy book, huh? And let's see, let me do something on the back there. He's too big, Santa. Um, no, doesn't, not Christmassy. We're doing Christmas today. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, I'm not, I'm not with it all together. <laughs> I like that. What else? Oh, how about this? I like that. So let's, I will just um, staple this on. How, how about with a little piece of, <coughs> excuse me, a little piece of um, velvet. Where's my scissors? Right here. I'm adding a little piece of fabric when you're using paper is my favorite thing to do. So, oh, we have the little one. Let's use the little one. And it just adds a little element to things, you know? A little different element. And now, there you go. It's a little scrappy book. And then to attach the whole thing, um, let's see. We can put a stitch in there. I can put a staple in there, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to um, use a clip. We haven't done that in here, so we can do that. And then I will just clip the whole thing right into here on this side. Just like that. There we go. 
That's cute. And need some more ephemera for the owner, for the new owner to receive. And then one little thing I had done, I wanted to attach these um, onto here. So I'm just gonna open up these prongs and I'm gonna attach some more things up here. It just is pleasing to the eye um, when you see things dangling <laughs> on your on your um, document style journal. This trifold, it it just looks nice. It's like a you know, it's like a bunch of different things that somebody put all together. Well, you, meaning you, <laughs> you put it all together. But in the old days when they did all this, it was, it had to do, the entire document had to do with some sort of project or some sort of, um, you know, case or something that was going on. It was attaching everything all in one. So if you just think of it that way, um, possibly, you know, you can put one together too. You don't, you don't have to put too much thought into it. I'm going to attach this little tag in here too. That's cute. It has my um, Twisted Tangles uh, stamp on it. I will just attach that in there like that. But you can take your wax seals and do things at the bottom. Um, I've, I've mentioned this before, but I will again. In the old days, um, the house seal was a signature. So instead of signing in places with the pen and paper like we do today, what they did was they used their house seal as the wax seal on a document. And then therefore, that was their signature. And that's how they used to sign things in those days. Okay, so I'm pretty much happy with this. It's getting very stuffed. It's full. Um, let us see. We we're going to choose a ribbon to tie it. So let me see what I have. Um, let me see what I have right near me. Do I have anything near me? Let me just go to my drawer. Hold on one second. Okay. I have both red and green. Um, why don't we use both and see what that looks like, huh? We'll give it a try. It may work, it may not. I'm not opposed to using two pieces of ribbon. Or, is that the right word? Opposed? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And, here we go. Let's see. And then we can just tie it up and make it look so pretty. And then you can also take, you know, you can hang a twisted tangle off the front. I don't know if I have any near me. I'm liking the double ribbon. Oh, and this is for you, Steph. Um, hold on, I'll do it again. Steph says I tie such pretty bows. <laughs> so I'm going to show you. I used to tie bows on wedding invitations. And I will show you, I'm sorry for sniffling. I will show you how I was taught or how I taught myself, rather. I Googled. <laughs> okay, so you tie your, you tie your tie like that. You hold your finger on, on the, on the, um, where it's, where it's taught, where it crosses. And then you make your loop in your right hand or your dominant hand, you make your loop. And then you take the top half of your ribbon and you bring it under not over under and when you bring it under like that wait am i doing it wrong <laughs> here i am teaching i'm so tired i'm sorry i'm really not feeling well okay <laughs> instead of bringing it yeah instead of bringing it under just, i'm confusing everyone oh my gosh no. Yes. You bring it over. <laughs> okay. I got to rewind. Rewind. Okay. <laughs> it's been a while. You hold your finger here and you bring it over. And then you bring your ribbon through up this way. 
and then both of your bow ties dangle down at the bottom. When you do it the other way, the way that I was trying to teach in the beginning, that was wrong. <laughs> when you do it that way, and you bring it under, which most people do, your, your ties are opposite. You see that? You can have that look too, but to make your bows so where both your both your um, things come down at the bottom, you want to bring it over. So you want your loop to come under, under your finger, so that these tails are down here, and that will give you your bow. So your tails are all going in the right direction. And this is just twisted around here. Okay, a lesson in bow tying, a little one. I would have messed that all up if you didn't have YouTube and you had to, and you couldn't rewind. <laughs> Sorry. Mom, I'm just gonna do it again because it's not, it's not good enough for me. So you hold it and you go up and under and your tails are at the bottom. There we go. And that's our, that's our trifold. All right, so we'll just, we'll do another little, um, oh, it looks so cute. We'll do another little, and something sticking on me, another little project. Um, you all know I've been doing those little um, paper pleasers this last week so I figured why not let's do a Christmas one that will be fun right and then we do have 40 minutes left so we'll go ahead and do that so there's our document our document trifold um <clears throat> for the I have all this stuff out on my desk still let me see I took out some postcards as my base for the Christmas. Oh gosh, I'm going to sneeze. So hold on one second. Okay. Okay. Thank you for waiting for me. I'm sorry. All right. So we're going to make those little scrappy, um, paper pleasers, twisted paper pleasers, but, um, I'm going to use some postcards as my base. So, um, and I'm going to do them for Christmassy. So I think what I'm going to do is this is beautiful. Um, I'm going to do it upside right, and then this one, it really doesn't matter, so I'm going to do the stamp at the bottom, and that's upside the right way, and this one doesn't matter, so I think I'm going to do the stamp at the bottom. The ones that don't, I'm saying doesn't matter is because the image is lengthwise. So let me see what we can get done here, and then we'll decorate them for a Christmassy type. Um, I have some old books here that I'm just going to take some of the pages out of. And they are, they do vary in size. Oh, look at this one. Wow, this is gorgeous. Oh, and the paper feels so nice. This is a German book. No, don't you cringe, because this is the reason why I bought this is to use this for um, in my work I'm a serious paper artist you guys serious <laughs> oh this paper is lovely it's like it's rag paper of course and the font is gorgeous and the cover is beautiful isn't it okay and then what else do we have we have some some of this red paper. Um, there we go. How many there? One, two. And don't rip all the way on me. And four. And then five, six. Okay. And then I have this one. Oh. This is pretty. I like the whiteness of it compared to the other colors. 
and I love mixing these colors. This is not so strong, this paper. Feels like it got water damage somewhere along the way. Maybe. Don't cringe. Remember, I did buy these just to use this way. Look at this cover. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's pink on this side and white on this side. My goal is to use up all the pages so I can make books. Let me see. What's this one? Oh, this is so beautiful. From 1870. And these are little pages. How cute. Let me see. One, two, three. Oop. Four, five, six. I don't know. I'm going to use them all. Look how beautiful that is. Okay. And then here's another one. Oh, look at this color. I like this color. One, two, three. Four, five. Okay. All right. Oh, let's take this one. I like this one. This is um, an English speller. It has beautiful paper. So we're just going to use the bases to make, to make, um, <coughs> excuse me, our little twisted paper pleasers. All right. And then I, I, you guys, I do have paper packs in my shop with papers, of course, because I do buy all these old books, um. So I have paper packs in my shop if you, anyone's interested. So let's just try it. We're going to do the same thing, except for I'm not going to rip my bases this time. I'm going to leave them the way they are. And I am going to keep the picture on the back side. So I, I think that looks really neat. So we'll just start. Move them up. And then I'll, I'll rip them with my hand. And... We'll get um, some different variants of color. I'm going to fold them first. I hope that they don't rip crooked. <laughs> we'll do a small one here. Big there, small. I need to, um, let me see. What else am I doing? One, two, three, four. And then, how about I just do this, and then I'll come back to them. So I'll make each one. There we go. Oh, yes, and this one. This gorgeous paper. We'll use this sparingly, because I'm sure I will never, I won't, it will be hard for me to ever come across a book like that again. <clears throat> I believe that that book is from the 1700s. Okay. All right, so let's start. This is our first postcard. Move these over. And here we go. We're using our base as the postcard. So like that. We can, I like the number on there, and then we'll just fold that over, and the bottom part, I'm going to rip off, there we go, and then, um, my ruler. I want to keep the number on the side like this and then of course we did just do this so I'm, I'm just showing you how to adapt it to um, you know Christmassy type Christmas 
And then all these, of course, these are all good. These, those. Don't throw those away. That's good paper. All right, let's see. Let me put, I'm going to take this off on this side. Only because I want the numbers. And that number is now showing through. That looks better to my eye anyway. <laughs> okay. And let's see. We have this one. Um, let's put that that way. Maybe we can fold it. Like that. That looks cute. Oh, that's my children. Wait, hold on. I can pause them. That's Louie. Louie, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's my child. I love him so much. He's getting ready because they have a new album coming out. Oh, all right. Let me take this off here. And... No, I want this one maybe under. Maybe we'll attach this one right here. Like that. And we'll keep this one at the top. Okay. And that's good. That's very monotone, isn't it? Um, which is what I wanted. I want these to be monotone with just a pop of color for Christmas. Very muted. I like it. In keeping with the French, the French themes. All right, let's do another one. So, and we still have paper left, so I may not even have to rip up um, everything. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see if we can do any different, um, a different look on here. Let me see. We'll use this side now, and we'll fold in the number. That's good. Put this down. Maybe we can mix some other pieces in here. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm looking behind me because I have some colors that I was working with. Maybe we can mix some of those in here too. Just to um, bring out some different colors and different feels of paper. Why not? Why not? makes perfect sense to me <laughs> let's fold this over and there we go and how about we put that down like that and then let me get this here oh maybe we can use this one without ripping a new one i like that Yes. All right, that's good. I like that one. I think right, that's two. And let's go to the next one. <clears throat> and these are cute to tuck into pockets and things. And look, we have all this left over. And then join me tomorrow. Um, I will be doing um, a snippet roll. We'll go over... We'll go over the snippet roll. And you can use the snippet roll on your on your items too. You can. They're fun. They're really, really fun. Great way to use up your scraps, you guys. Alright, we'll put this on here. Maybe we'll put it in. Maybe I'll move this over. I'm liking the way that white looks on the outside. And I like that. Maybe I'll just, maybe I'll fold this up like that. I like that look. I love this writing. Um, let me fold it over so I could rip this. There we go. And then, oh my gosh. I'm going to take a break for another minute and then just use my tissues and I'll be right back. Okay, I like that. I'm liking that one. All right, let me get a paper clip. And let me put you on hold for just a moment.
Okay, thank you. Sorry. Um, let's just, let's do those for right now. We did three. So let's just decorate those. <clears throat> and we'll come back. To, we'll come back to using. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll visit this, this craft a million times. I'm going to take these little ones I just ripped here. And then anything else. Okay, good. I don't know. I'm, I'm so, I'm so out of it. Uh, I really am. Um, I'm trying to find where I put my scraps. Oh, here they are. Okay. So now, I have these scraps I was working on my desk. So I'm just going to bring some back and then mix it in to keep this monotone look. <clears throat> I'm going to mix some in. I don't know what exactly all that I have left, but I'm sure whatever I have will be, will be good. <laughs> I have a little piece of graph paper and just add, put that pop right there. And... Um, <clears throat> here's a little piece of stenciled paper. I like that look. And we'll just put that down here at the bottom. Like, oh, that. It fell, but it, it fell in the right place. <laughs> sure. Okay. And then... I have some embossed paper. Oh, I have some numbers. I didn't know how much numbers I had left because I did um, a project and I kind of used what I had. But we're making these Christmassy, but I'm thinking like an old time Christmassy type feel. Um, let me see, what else? Not too much, but a little bit. A little bit of decoration. Is this picture too? Mm, doesn't really go. Um, this has red in it. Let's staple that here. Like that. Alright. There we go. And then... Mm, that's nice. Oh, we didn't do any music paper. Let's do that. I forgot the music. Oh no. I'm just going to do just a little pop of music. Tiny. Tiny little pop of music. And then how about some of this writing from the old paper? Well, put that right here. That's good. And still looking. Um, I didn't do. I didn't use this. Let me see. All right, let me bring these back in front of me. Pretty. Um, do I want this color in here? I don't really like that color. How about this? I'm liking this color. With that color. <laughs> um, I like that on there. Wait, let me put that on there. Good. <clears throat> I need to get something to glue it on. I need my glue stick and this paper. Okay. Oh, sugar. That's all right. Maybe we'll just use a little piece of it. I forgot that it does this. I didn't remember. Actually, gluing it on 
took away the embossed image a little bit. It's not really what I wanted. This is not what I had intended. <laughs> How about we just, no, how about we just forget it for right now. <clears throat> Put a little piece of this in here. And how about we staple a little piece of this at the bottom. I like that. Okay. All right, I'm thinking I like the way the composition came out. Um, we could do so much more to it, of course, you all know that. What happened here? Oh, I stapled that on, that's why it's staying. Okay, good, that's good. All right, now let's see about some fabric, huh? To make it look Christmassy. Oh, wait a minute, I did want to use these little French these little French cards. I'm not sure. We'll see. I'll see how I want to use them. Alright. You know, some fabric things. And of course, you know, we could do stamps on things. I just don't have anything set up here. We have a little bit of time left. We have we have we have a little bit. Um, where's my here's my fabric scissors? So, I like that, layered like that. I'm going to go ahead and stick that down. It's coming out just a tiny bit from the paper. And then, what else do I have over here? Oh, look, I have some of these numbers left. I didn't think I did. I do. Surprise. <laughs> I think I like that right there on the front, but how about we give it a backing? Let me see. Hmm. I like that. I don't like it so stark though. It's on white. Let me see something. <clears throat> Let me see if I can change the color just a little bit with some ink. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. That worked. No, it's not so stark white anymore. Alright. Do I want that? Um, I had like a piece of trim. I don't know where it went. Oh, I also have that. Hmm. And look, I have this building here. I can go all day and go cuckoo. <laughs> this piece of building here that caught my eye. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Oh, I have to sneeze. Hold on. Sorry. Oh, thank you. I'm so sorry. That's going to keep happening. Okay. okay. I'm going to try to get one more video done for tomorrow, and then um, I don't know if I'll be able to do much more. I need to rest. I like that on there. So I'm putting that on the velvet, and I just, it was very stark white fabric, so I just um, took the starkness out by stamping it with a little bit of vintage photo by, you know, covering it with a little bit of ink. And, oh, I like that. I'm going to put that right on the front there. Um, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Okay. I'm going to put this right here. Like that. 
And then, I don't know, how about a piece of trim up at the top? Oh, that, look how nice that looks. I like it. Let me... Let me see. Let me just check it out. I gotta make sure. Let me put this back in here and in this and I'll check to make sure. I like it. But it looks very Christmassy. Okay. That's what I wanted, like an old time Christmassy look. All right, and there, I think maybe, oh. how about we attach this right here, on here, like that, with a little, a little paper clip, really. A little Leslie Cook. This is just to give you guys some ideas. You can do this however you want. You can use Christmas Digitals. That would look really cute as well. Um, one second. I need a tissue. I need, I need a tissue for my issue. <laughs> All right. I like these little laundry tags here. Maybe we'll put one right there at the bottom. I like that. Looks very Christmassy. I apologize. I need tissues for my issues. Ugh. This is horrible. <clears throat> it is, it is, it is. Okay, I need um, I need to attach all this. I'm gonna staple this, the whole thing, and then I am going to do my hole punch. Um, if I could find it, can I find it? Hello, <laughs> where did you go? Right here. So I'm gonna do a hole punch and I'll punch it up here and here. Okay. And then we'll use some red red ribbon. bring it through the front and I don't really measure because I use the ribbon anyway no matter what I use it um, in other projects however I could tell this is going to be way too long but that's okay <laughs> and bring it through and then we'll tie our bow and remember the loop goes above your thumb. That's right. Above your thumb. <laughs> and then it comes so your things are dangling from the bottom. Both sides are dangling from the bottom. And then we will bring this down and this down. Like that. Until we get it right. And then we will cut it. I need a tissue. I'm, I'm apologizing. All right. Let me... Safety zone. I'm in my safety zone. <laughs> okay. And there we go. That's two. Christmassy, but old time Christmassy look, you know? Pretty old time Christmassy look. Let's see. What can we do for this one? Um, how about some polka dot? I don't know. 
why I just saw it there um, somewhere somewhere um, let's see do that and then oh how about like a scrappy piece of fabrics why not we could do that right can't we i need a tissue give me one second i'm sorry okay i'm sorry about that i'm just oh i'm not feeling well <laughs> that's the bottom line you guys i'm trying to do this video for you guys for merry monday okay so um i'm gonna make this just a tiny bit different shape more like a rectangular and then we'll do this one more rectangular leaving edge all around so it looks layered like that and hmm. I'm liking that there. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, we could do it right above there. Okay, and then how about a little piece of this? You want that above it or below it? No. Hmm, no. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I like that. All right, let's glue that. We'll glue. I'll glue the fabric on here, a little piece of this velvet, down to there, and then the 21, hmm. uh, I'm not right in the middle, oh, yo, yo, yo. should we make it smaller? Um, maybe we'll make it smaller. Oh no, I just used my fabric scissors on paper. I use pattern paper, so. Oh, I like that. Okay, so we'll put a little glue there. And then we'll hold it in place. Like that. And let me see. Should we put this back some? No. How about we just put it right on top of there where that is? I think that will look fine right there. I'm liking it. I'm just going to attach it like that. And then, hmm. let's see. We can staple it. I like the staple. I like it. And then maybe put a um hmm. what do I want to do? How about we just put the bow around it? This way. We'll do that. Then it could go into a pocket. And you don't really need anything at the top. I think the velvet and the um, polka dots look nice. <clears throat> and just tie a better bow. Okay. I like that look. There we go. So... Even though I'm not feeling well, we still did a few. And I didn't do what I wanted to with these. But you know what? We do have another few minutes, so I will. I never attached that at the top either. So let's see. I think we'll just glue this in place. I think I'm liking it. Or well, maybe we'll just staple the whole thing so that somebody else can use the same things too rather than gluing it. I'll do that. I'll staple it. There. 
I like that one. All right. So we put this down here. I like that there. Little laundry numbers. And then gives them like a Christmassy or even Valentine's. Valentine's too, you guys. Christmas or Valentine's. Aren't those cute? And then, let's see. This is like French with the English writing on the back. Um, let's see. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up as I go. We're going to put this here. And maybe a little piece of the book page that we used, too. How's that? We'll put it over here. And we will put this there. And then we will... Should we paper clip it on? That's good. And then we will take a piece of ribbon. <clears throat> and a little bow. Same way you would the bow that I just showed you. Um, now remember your it goes over your over your finger, not under. And then your tails will be at the bottom. <clears throat> and then when I'm feeling better, I'll show you how to do a French knot <clears throat> with a bow. Or a square knot. Oop. Hold on. That's my timer. Okay. There. And then, you know, you could attach them anywhere. <clears throat> you can. Uh, let me see. Am I taking away from anything else? I don't want to take away from anything else. Oh, look. That's like a little pocket at the bottom. That's good. It can hang out right there. <laughs> I like that. So these can be for, um, for Valentine's Day or for Christmas. But I did want to make them in the monotone colors. And I did like them. I think they're adorable. And you can do it on the back of a postcard. And they look adorable. I'm going to sneeze. Hold on and then I'll come back and say goodbye. Okay, thank you. All right, so we finished our document trifold. And we also did three little um, twisted paper pleasers. And you can um, have these for Christmas time or for Valentine's Day. And I hope you are all well and you enjoy your week. Um, I will have an upload for a video tomorrow. It will be for my snippet rolls. And then um, we'll see how I'm feeling because I already did that video. So um, we'll see how I'm feeling and, um, and then we'll go from there. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a very blessed week. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.